Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kit Cave. Uh, back with you again just with a very quick update just to show uh, what I've been doing for my uh, uh, progress work on the USS Enterprise D build, the AMT Ertl 1 1400 scale kit. Um, since my last video posted on Sunday, I've just been uh, messing around with Arduino basically. Um, as I mentioned, this is the first time, first foray into using Arduino. Um, and learning it and I've been doing more studying and watching more videos and something I mentioned uh, about uh, on Sunday was there's a couple of people and again I will give them a big shout out um, so Trevor over at the um, YouTube channel Ostrich Longneck has, has over the years put a playlist series together um, using Arduino for Starship so well worth watching certainly if you're looking to um, use Arduino and learn Arduino for the first time in your project builds and he's basically written source codes and gives you all the schematics and diagrams and all the components needed and really good tutorial video how to put it all together and get it working for for your Starship models all the lighting and sound effects um, also that I came across again freely you know in the public domain um, from a Jennifer Petkus again she has a YouTube channel uh, but on her website on virtual light she's put together a a prototype version of the phaser array effect using addressable leds which is what we're seeing here and this is kind of what i've, I've been playing around with um, over the last couple of days so just to show you how this effect's going i have done some modifications to the initial uh, sketch in the code that that jennifer put together um, but just to show you how it's all functioning so it's already up and running if i switch the power on bang we can see it starting so what's going on here as we're seeing the uh, the sequence and you know, as you can see here in the code that's been put together it just loops it can, keeps running over and over and over and over and over again there is a push button included in the sketch right here but it, you know you press the button it doesn't actually appear to do anything um, I'm sure it does do something but it doesn't appear to when you press it so that's one thing but here we go this is what it's looking like and this is just a little mock-up template and i wanted to to play around with this first to get get you know get the con proof of concept running before actually starting anything to the plastic kit itself but essentially th this is it there's no sound yet um this is just the uh the the, the code that jennifer put together uh, running over and over again what i did do with this her initial code it ran very very quickly the sequence was running very very quick going around so i went into the code actually last night and was tinkering around it and changed changed some of the settings in the code itself to slow it down to what we're seeing here also changing the led color changed it just purely to red because it had a bit of a green greenish hue to it uh, originally um, and so that was changed um, to simulate this but here we are it's it, it's it's running the proof of concept works and i'm really chuffed with it what i'm what i'm happy with seeing you know what's really good about this particular code that jennifer has written and again jennifer if you're watching this fair play to you my friend for doing this and putting it you know this code into the public domain is that not only does it do the firing sequence going round for your starship phasers and goes to a single point like this for firing that's good it also does on the next cycle round this it does the drifting and this is designed that she describes it in her blog that drift is designed so that the starship is locked on to an enemy vessel and is firing the phaser but tracking the enemy vessel when it's flying past you know the the starship itself so it's tracking as it's firing and that is a really really cool effect and i've got to be honest i've not i could be mistaken but i've not seen other examples of this i've seen people do other examples with this phaser array um, effect but never have i seen it with this tracking effect happening um, so that is a really, really bonus uh, element to it. Um, up on the computer, I've got my computer open. I'm just going to try and coincide the, the sound effect. I've got my uh, my my phaser sound effect MP, MP3 downloaded already. And I'll try and coincide, co um, coincide my button press here on my mouse with the lights. So you kind of get an idea of what it, what it would go like once it's all embedded within the actual uh, Arduino code itself. So I'm just going to wait for this one to run. Um, Hopefully the uh, the microphone is picking up that sound. I'll move the mic a little bit closer to my speaker and try that again.
There we go. How, how cool is that? That is absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, there we go. Proof of concept is working uh, in a nutshell. Um, so something I'm doing at the moment, I'm, I'm chatting with the coder on, on Fiverr. Uh, I started talking to him on, on Monday night because essentially what needs to happen now to the code, um, this phase array uh, code, it just needs a bit of addition put into it. First of all, what I'd like to happen with this is from additional code to be put into it, whereby you know, I've just switched the, the power on and it's just automatically running. Well, that needs to be changed. It needs to be from, of course, coming from the push button so that when you push the button, it starts the sequence running and then you push the button again and it turns it off. Now with other examples that I've seen from other, other builders of uh, other builders of their models and incorporating this design in, in into their builds is that they've done it whereby you push the button once, it cycles round once and that's it, plays the sound effect. But I actually quite like it on this loop function where you can just push the button once and it'll just keep going round and firing and alternating. As it, as, it, as it goes round on a continual loop. And so, and then of course, press the button again and that'll turn the firing sequence off. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do with, do with this because that would more so simulate, you know, continuous firing of the phaser array so that it's, you know, not just one fire, but it's kind of in a battle scenario and, and picking targets and constantly firing at them. Um, so, I, so I like that. So that code needs to be uh, added into the uh, original, uh, the original uh, code itself this sketch as, as, as it's known. Um, also, of course, the sound effect. The sound effect needs to be the code written and embedded in, into, this, into this code on, uh, um, um, on the IDE. Um, so that again, once you push the, the push button, it starts the LED sequence running, but also plays the sound effects of the phasers firing continually and just repeats over and over until you push the button again and it turns it all off. And I think that would be a really, really cool effect uh, uh, to have. Um, and that's that's what I'm chatting, uh, what I'm doing, chatting to the the, the the coder on Fiverr, and that's what hopefully he 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 can do for me. And I'm sure for you experts out there, if you're watching this video, that's an easy thing to do: write that additional code in to get that function actually working. But for somebody who's uh, never, uh, never, never used a, a Arduino before, that's a little bit beyond my scope. But I am trying to teach myself how to write code and 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 uh, and, and do these things for myself later on in the future. You know, I've learned enough over the last couple of weeks or you know, I started on a, on a good point where I can actually read code itself and, and kind of understand, you know, 70% of what this, the, the code is all, is all saying and what it's there to do. And so if I just quickly, uh, I'll just switch that off for a second. There we go. Moving on over to the screen. Sorry, it's the poor shot of the screen. There we go. There's the code and things that I've changed from the original code that, that uh, Jennifer produced. She had this green value set, I think it was on 195, and that's the brightness, so it was showing green as, as it was going around the strip, and I didn't like that, so I, I changed that, that value there to zero, so it's just the red LEDs going. Other values that I changed then was moving on down, um, and it was this, it was the, the phaser ramp duration. I set it to 1000 uh, milliseconds, because it says there how long until the ramp meets in the middle. So that's firing the LEDs going from both ends of the strip meeting in the middle, that duration. And what I did, I kept playing, I kept playing that sound effect, the phaser sound effect over and over and over again and, and timing it and, and tweaking you know, in milliseconds these, these, these numbers here to get it, you know, almost, almost perfect. It's not perfect, but it's, it's near as damn it uh, perfect. Now, of course, I do know that this this will change because this is just set for a, a ring of twenty four LEDs, and so when you're doing a, a you know a strip and a dressable strip that's even longer that has more LEDs, these uh, these ver these constants will, will need to change. These the, the timing will need to be changed. But again, it's an easy thing just to go in here and, and fiddle around with these numbers. Um, what else was also changed was this again. I believe these values where it's got the phaser ramp duration and the phaser pulse duration. If I remember rightly, they were set to 250 milliseconds. So it was running very, very quick. And I kind of basically just slowed it down a little bit. Um, I also changed this to phaser pulse duration. So that's how long, once the you know the two um, LEDs meet in the middle, it's how long that the light stays on for. And that's set to three seconds because that kind of coincided with the sound effects as well. Um, haven't messed around with the, uh, with the brightness. Let's say if you want to see the phaser pulse, I might mess around with that at some point. Um, the bumper, I left that the same. What I did do as well, if I could find it back in the code, let me just have a look. It was, can't find it now, where's it gone? 
I think it was that. It was the phase of drift divider. Yeah, it was that. Originally, that number was set to, to 10, how quickly you want the phaser to drift after firing. And again, it was drifting. It was, it was going round in that arc and it was a little too quick. So again, I just lowered that value there, put it down to six. I experimented. First, I went to five, then I went to eight. Then I found that six was kind of a good ballpark figure. Um, and then, yeah, checked the code, uploaded it and got to that sequence firing round there, which I'm going to turn on again because it's just bloody brilliant. And there we go. And it's firing. It comes around, meets in a random place, and around again. And come on, just just for the hell of it, let's let's do the sound effect as well because it's just so cool. Okay, and I wait for it to go again. So fire all phasers, and it's not going to work. Come on, sorry, I missed that timing there. <laughs> just having great fun. I'm just having fun with this. And it's not even installed into the model yet, and it's just brilliant. Um, there we go. Easily pleased. Easily pleased I am. So there we go. Very short video, guys. Or ladies and gentlemen, I should say, um, on what I've been doing, just tinkering around with the electronics. And that's kind of what I mentioned beforehand. I just wanted to, to, to get the electronics side of it working first before I actually do anything to the model, model kit um, um, in itself. Um, but there we go. Again, I just want to give a big shout out while I remember to everybody that that's hit the like buttons and and and, and left comments on my last video post. And it's had quite quite a lot of views. I'm very surprised at that. So a lot of people out there are liking the Enterprise D, uh, I imagine. So a big thank you to everybody for that. Again, as I always say, it is very much appreciated. Um, so that's it then. I'll, I'll wrap up um, just quickly before I finish. I am still looking into um, finding the photo etch set for this, for the, the, uh, the one 1400 scale and I actually did find it this morning um, on break time while I was at work and I'm still on work I'm actually on my lunch break but there we go um, um, I have found a, a, a company here in the UK that sell the photo edge set now um, the phaser the set where it's got the phaser strips and the um, and all the other little bits and pieces retails for for a 54 pound 95 pence so quite steep but you know okay fair enough plus they also sell um, the second photo etch set, which is the the covers for the water the cell pylons, where you have to you know channel out to feed the wires, and that's retailing for nineteen ninety nine. So uh, those kits combined, you know, what with postage cost, is going to be roughly eighty quid for a sort of photo etch set. And I'd call, and I was kind of sat there looking at it, going, mm, you know, do I really want to spend that much on a bit of thin uh, brass laser cut sheeting? Um, and do you know what? What the hell? Might as well. I'm going all out on this kit, you know. I might as well spend the money and just just make it the best that it that I can possibly make it to be. Because um, if I don't, if I don't do it, then I'm going to regret it later on. So what the hell, you know? And that's why we go to work, isn't it? To earn the hard-earned beer tokens, make sure all the bills are paid, and then whatever's left, that that's for us to enjoy with our hobby. That's what it's all about. Um, so the company that I source, I didn't mention them. They're a company here in the UK, and they're known as Seven View Hobbies. Uh, sevenviewhobbies.co.uk interestingly enough i actually found out again this morning looking them up um they are literally right in my backyard i can i could get in my car and 20 minute drive down the road on my on my map their 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 place they're that close and i hadn't realized they were literally in the same county as where i live here in the uk um you know i i have come across their their that company before and looked at products in the past uh, but never realized just how close they were you know they were literally a 20 minute drive away um so that's a bonus um, but there we go. Um, so yeah, well worth a shout. So so anybody in the UK, I, 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 and for anybody actually worldwide, they do ship worldwide. I know you guys, in, uh, you know, in the states, you have you have your own companies out there, HDM Model Works and Tenor Controls and and, and others uh, that I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, but here in the UK, um, we tend to be a little bit limited with these sort of things. And uh, yeah, it's good to see that there is there is a company out there, and they're they're selling and they are selling this 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 sketch. And I believe reading their website, it's because you know um, they've actually obtained the rights to the kit to produce it from um, from Don's Light and Magic since his very sad uh, very sad end. Tragically, you know, Don, as we probably will know in the community, died uh, very sad uh, to hear that. But they've uh, this company has obtained the rights to produce that photo etch set uh, and, and to sell it. So there we go. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on. I promised this was going to be a short video and it's now gone into nearly 15 minutes. <laughs> there we go. Quick update for everybody. I'll be back soon with another one. As I said, uh, hopefully I can have a chat with the uh, the guy on Fiverr tonight and, and get everything buttoned down for 
for him to work on this code and make the additions to it for the, the button presses and including the, uh, the, the sound effects. Um, and we'll go from there. That's it from me, everybody. Everybody take care, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye.